Well, we're getting ready to install a low tunnel here. And Lynn, the first thing we need to do is dig a trench, right? Right, actually we're gonna dig a trench all, all the different sides, mm -hmm. all four sides. And then uh, when we put the plastic over the hoops, then we'll throw the dirt, well, the plastic will lay in the trench. Okay. And then we'll throw the dirt on it. So, so as we dig, we wanna make sure we're putting the dirt to the uh, outside. Right. So that we can cover our uh, plastic up again. And we went ahead and stuck the end hoops in just to guide us, I guess, as we were. Right. One other thing, we have irrigation in this bed. So obviously, as you dig, you want to make sure to avoid any existing irrigation. Yeah. This shouldn't even be a race. I mean. <laughs> Now that we have our trunch, trench dug, we can install the hoops. You bet. And we just, you go ahead and start yours down. Okay. Okay, and then I'll start mine down. And how far do we want them in? Oh, however high you want your tunnel, but I think that looks about, about where even. we were at. And Pretty you want close. it deep enough to, to be oh, stable, yeah. of course. Yeah, this is Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. The wind blows a lot, so. <laughs> and we're just trying to evenly space these the length of our bed. Okay, there we go. And next we pull our plastic across. Yeah, it looks like this one ought to go down just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that was high. And again, we're just using a, well, we have a heavy grade plastic for, that you would use on greenhouses, but you yeah. can use a much less expensive Actually. variety. Let's just walk it down like this. Okay. And as we measure our plastic, we're going to pull it past the end hoop a few feet. Yeah. And um, I'll hold it on this end, and okay. we'll go ahead and go back to the other end and cut it also several feet long because we want enough to be able to close up the end of the tunnel. Okay. Okay. Okay, now that we have it cut, we want to open it, and this is folded in half, so I'm just holding the middle point around the center of the hoop so that it's about even on each side. And you made some nice little clips, yeah. PVC cut up, uh, and we'll just do that through the length of the bed and open it up. How tight do we want to pull the plastic? Oh, you get as tight as you can. Mm -hmm. Not, It doesn't have to be super tight. I think you've got the right end there. So Kim, the next step really is to push this plastic down in, into the trench that we dug already. And so we can either push that down with our feet. Mm -hmm. That's just pretty tough plastic, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And then we just start filling that trench with soil. All right, and that'll hold our plastic in place. So ideally you want to get your crop in right and then put the plastic over the top the great thing about putting this uh, soil down in here is that even if you get a big wind the plastic will stay put so if you were just using clips it wouldn't hold that plastic down mm -hmm. the way the soil and the trench will so and the plastic or the clips are nice while you're working just to hold it in place right especially if uh, you're working alone All right, now that we have uh, the edges all buried in plastic and the crop is planted inside, we just wait and let it grow, right? right. <laughs> Make sure to water. Uh, we have drip inside, so right. it's easy to water. Um, later in the season, we might want to get in here to start working as the crop grows and we could dig out one side. Um, we could weigh that down with other materials. 
Yeah, you could use boards, uh, you know, you could use sandbags. Mm -hmm. Somebody suggested that. Okay. Uh, so that would work. Or the other option, if you're, if you're really nimble and you don't mind being on your hands and knees, you could just open up an end and crawl mm -hmm. in and do what you got to do and then crawl back out and close the end up. So yeah. There's a lot of ways. Whatever we do, we want to make sure that we weigh it down well to keep it from blowing away in the wind. Right, because that's... That can be a big issue for us. You know, you get a 60, 70 mile an hour wind and off she goes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your help today, Lynn. Well, I enjoyed it.